Hey everyone, I hope you've all had such a wonderful, nourishing weekend. Um, so let's talk about reciprocation in relationships. And by that, I mean whether it's friendships, whether it's your partner, whether it's your family members, any person that you have a relationship with. I've really been thinking about what reciprocation means. And for a long time, like I really love giving. It's it's not something that I'm like, oh, I'm a giver and I'm not boasting about it. But I've noticed in myself as I've observed myself that I actually really do enjoy so much giving people joy in some way. And sometimes I overextend myself and sometimes I... Um, I, I end up giving more than I receive and I had to get to a point where I realized that if I was giving with the expectation to receive back, it almost tainted the giving. It almost made it seem like I was giving waiting or for the reason of receiving something back and that for me didn't feel like giving so I really had to train my mind and I, and I started doing that for a long time where I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to give as much as I want regardless of what I receive back. But then actually I started reading so much more about relationships and how to nurture friendships. And, you know, reciprocation is actually such a large integral part of growing a relationship, of deepening a relationship. And so as much as I believe that we should give without expectation, I do believe it is a responsibility in ourselves to also reciprocate in the right way to whoever's giving to us and not expect them to feel like reciprocation is not needed. And so I've noticed that in relationships of mine where I don't feel reciprocation, they don't grow as much or, or, or that I've, I've really been free writing about this. And I've noticed in places where even though I am giving out of love, I've, I've, I've taken note of relationships where maybe reciprocation isn't that prominent and it has felt like it's stunted my relationship with them. And maybe that's on me, but I do truly believe that reciprocation is a cycle, a part of a relationship to really help nurture it, um, to help water it, to allow it to um, have such deep loving exchanges is such a such a such an important part of a relationship and so when I was thinking about this I was thinking about how you know different people have different ways in which they can give now it doesn't mean that when you are trying to reciprocate with someone that you have to give to the equal quantity or quality that they have all it takes is a small gesture a small physical gesture that shows your appreciation and that could come in the form of words simple gratitude messages or words of affirmation it could come in the form of um getting someone their favorite smoothie and being like hey i really see what you did for me thank you so much i really appreciate it and it could be and to them that might be all it all that is required regardless of how much they've given you just that small gesture back it, it could even be just spending extra time with that person when you see that it's necessary and when you see that they're needing that and I find sometimes if someone's doing a lot for someone else, it can almost be overwhelming. It's like, I don't even know how to repay that person. I feel like that about my grandma. I feel like that about my, my mom, my dad. I feel like that about, about people in my life who have done so much for me. But that doesn't mean we shy away from it or we scare away from it. We're like, well, I can't even give back to them. So why should, like, there's not even a point in me trying. That's actually, I feel, uh, very um avoid it's like an avoidance technique rather than actually trying to think and really putting in the effort to figure out what is it that i could give them that could show them in some way that i'm grateful for even a small amount that they've done for me and actually i was thinking about it because um i had a friend that was staying with me and he was just so sweet every single day it was like he was just trying to show reciprocation in some way i kept saying to him i was like you're doing too much you don't have to do this genuinely just stop like it's okay i love having you here we are good but every day without fail he would be like thank you and this was like over a month everybody would be like thank you so much for like having me here i really appreciate it he would like try and do the dishes he would i would say i like something and he would randomly buy it for me and and he did way too much but it was just a consideration of like hey oh i can see you're struggling with your website let me help you in some way and that came from genuine friendship of course but also i could see within him that he was feeling a deep need to reciprocate to show love to show gratitude and I honestly just felt so overwhelmed by it because I haven't really experienced that much in my life. And it was just so beautiful to see it. And in the same way, I was then reciprocating more. I was like, oh, let me cook you your favorite thing. And, and it was so beautiful because it was a constant back and forth of, of love being exchanged in so many different ways. Throughout that month, I'd say we exchanged love in like 
I don't even know, but so many, so many different ways. And I see the same thing with, um, with my husband. Like every time we're trying to reciprocate in different ways, it's small things, it's little things. Same with my mum and dad. Could never repay them for what they've done for me, but I try to in some ways, whether it's sending my mum something that I know that she likes and calling her and telling her just randomly that I appreciate her and that I love her. Whatever those things are for that person, if you know them well, you'll know how to reciprocate. And I even start thinking about it in simple things as, you know, people who we think are doing their job. We may be paying them for something and we think, well, it's part of their job. I don't need to be grateful. But I realized that after seeing how Radhanat Swami and a lot of other people act with everybody around them, even if my instructor is passing me my um, dumbbell or if she's passing me in my Pilates class, if she's passing me a hand weight or something, I'm like, thank you so much. Every single time. Thank you so much. And it's because it doesn't matter if they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Reciprocation just makes you a better person. Reciprocation takes you out of thinking about yourself and thinking about that things are owed to you and allowing gratitude to flow through you in every moment. If we, um, if we, if we section out where gratitude is applicable, if we decide I'm going to be grateful to this person, this person and this person and in no other situation, then gratitude won't come freely. And so even simple things like, hey, you did my eyebrows. I'm going to even though I've paid you, I'm going to reciprocate by giving you a good review, by recommending my friends. It's reciprocation in every part of your life, which I feel ends up actually fueling you. It's a place of growth. It's a place to make yourself better. And I honestly believe you can never reciprocate too much. Do that gesture every single time say that thank you every single time mean it from your heart every single time and actually as much as we think it's for the other person it's actually just growing our heart it's watering those seeds of gratitude in our heart every single day in every single moment and it's not about keeping count at all i really have made a point not to do that i give whenever my heart wants to give but it is a it we shouldn't keep count of what we do for other people but we should make sure we're keeping count no wait we shouldn't keep count of how much we are giving to other people, but we should keep count of what they are giving to us so that we can reciprocate. Not so that we can keep count to see what they're doing for us, but so that we are making sure that we are reciprocating in every way possible to every single person giving to us. And so I know this almost sounds very exhausting to have to think of every single day, but I honestly think it's just like anything else. The more we practice it, the more we um, think about doing it on a regular basis, it becomes a natural thought process. It becomes part of us. We can't imagine speaking or thinking or living or acting in a way different to it. Um, and anyway, I just wanted to share that because it's something that I have genuinely been, I've gone through so many different parts of my life where I felt I've been reciprocated with or not been reciprocated with. I've been hurt by it. I've been overwhelmed by it. And it's been so wonderful. And it's just made me realize that I want to make sure I give regardless. I want to make sure that I reciprocate regardless. And I want to make sure that I have gratitude in every moment of my life. And reciprocation is definitely one way to do that. So I hope that was something um, that you guys would be able to think about and um, that it's useful for your life too. Um, and yeah, sending you all so much love for this week and I hope you have a wonderful week, a nourishing week, a restful week if that's what you need, an energizing week if that's what you need. Listen to your body, listen to your heart and do what you gotta do.